Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. For years people have said, hey why don't you make a video on your favorite gun, what would it be? And I've resisted that because there are just so many choices out there I knew I would struggle, but if I broke it down into categories then that's something I could do and that's what this video is about. Let's start with shotguns. My favorite pump action shotgun is right here, it's a Mossberg Maverick 88 security model in flat dark earth this is a six plus one capacity i've run several loads through it it's performed great it's actually budget priced and i'm very much happy that i have it i know a lot of people love that shotgun and they are buying it for under 250 bucks in regard to semi-auto my favorite semi-auto is right here a Remington V3 Tactical. It has that verse support system that cuts down on the recoil substantially. And I've run everything through this as well. And the recoil is minimal with that gas system. This is also 7 plus 1. A vent ribbed barrel, oversized controls. and such a smooth shotgun. I, I love it. And I think the capacity on both of these, 7 plus 1, is really good. My favorite AK is right here. It's a Malat Vepper AK 308. RPK parts throughout. 20 and a half inch barrel. Foldable stock. Adjustable cheek weld. This has everything that you could want. And I got in on this early. I bought it for $1,200. It's now selling for over two grand, if you could even find one. But this is one sweet rifle chambered in 308. And I've loved it since day one my favorite 556 is this diamondback db15 mb for midnight bronze check out that cerakote color diamondback gives you everything that you would want that a lot of people pay extra for right on the rifle when you purchase it and the additional parts and the way it looks and the way it functions is so nice love that trigger as well so it's it's just a great all-around rifle at a very fair price very happy with it and i love this too since the day that i got it my favorite carry gun in single stack is right here it's a car p9 three and a half inch barrel night sights very thin 0.9 inches wide 22 ounces loaded with eight rounds magazine holds seven rounds excellent carry gun extremely accurate when i go double stack i go with the springfield hellcat all right, either 11 or 13 rounds in the magazine. This is the non-OSP model, but I also have the OSP model. So if you carry with a dot, this would be a nice choice as well. I'm not a handgun competition shooter, but if I was, I'd choose the Walther Q5 match. I love the PPQ. This is basically that, except for it has a 5-inch barrel, fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sight, optic ready. Does have the blue trigger right there. I mean, you name it. This is just such a nice shooting handgun, and I am very accurate with it. In terms of 45 ACP handguns, I have to choose a 1911, and I'm going with the Remington R1 Limited, primarily because it's a double stack, holds 15 rounds of 45 ACP, and this is just a beauty. It also has the 5-inch barrel, fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear, G10 grip, you name it. You know, the single action trigger is just so accurate huge 1911 fan over here in regard to big bore handguns i have to choose a desert eagle and this one and stainless steel would be my choice 50 action express it does have that integral muzzle brake that makes a difference but if you love a little punch back in your shots you would love the desert eagles also a single action trigger a six inch barrel these are so accurate and so much fun to shoot. You really ought to try it. And if you haven't already, you're kind of missing out because it's the kind of gun that you don't forget. Let's talk about revolvers. And we'll start with my favorite snub nose is right here. It's a Rock Island Armory AL 3.0. It's a six shot 357 Magnum with recessed chambers. You probably can't see that, but it's a bit unique with the modern revolvers today. Two inch barrel. And rubber grip it has some weight behind it but it soaks up that recoil with the 357 magnum now anybody who has watched this channel for a while knows that i'm a big show off when it comes to this gun and it's an original colt python with a six inch barrel once again this is a six shot and just a, a beauty made in 94 and that trigger pull is just incredible stainless steel original grips and the and probably the most accurate firearm that you'll ever fire 
in terms of handguns and I love it and I'm excited to show it off once again because I am still obsessed with this revolver and I've owned it for years now. My favorite all around firearm or if I had to bug out I would go with the CMMG Banshee 300 MK57. Very short, very lightweight, all the features that we love with CMMG, 5 inch barrel, rip brace, extremely accurate and 40 round magazines, 5.7 by 28 millimeter. That's pretty good. It's such a lightweight firearm that is so accurate. It really is an amazing package. When we talk about nine millimeter sub guns, I'm going with the Ruger PC Charger. I love this thing, six and a half inch barrel, nice hand stop there. It's a takedown model, disassembles real easy, except Glock mags, I've got a 33 round nine millimeter in there right now. Currently running a Vortex Spark, and the brace is a SBFS 1913 brace. Love this gun, it is so much fun. And you know, when you talk about sub guns, in my opinion, it just offers everything you want in a package like this. For home defense, I'm going with the Remington V3 TAC 13. Small, lightweight, 12 gauge firearm with a 13 inch vent rib barrel. It does have that VersaPort gas system which cuts down on the recoil, but a very nice package, very controllable for the 12 gauge round and it has performed excellent with a variety of loads. I've always loved this and I think it's a great home defense firearm. When it comes to having fun at the range, I'm going double action, single action, and I'm caving here. I can't choose one. I have to go with two, and I'm starting right here with a Sig Sauer P226 ASE Alloy Stainless Elite. This is a Talo edition, 4.4 inch barrel. I've got a large mag there with additional two, I believe 18 rounds in this, but the 226 models are incredible, and this one is incredible with the rosewood grips I, I love it and it's just so accurate it really is amazing but over here we've got a cz sp01 cz75 sp01 18 rounds in the mag 4.6 inch barrel this is the all steel model i also have the phantom with polymer i love them both but extremely accurate you know comes night sights on both what can you say you know you, you take these out you shoot you, you build confidence with the accuracy and i i just i can't choose one they're amazing if i hunted whitetail i would go with this ruger american ranch rifle chambered in 350 legend five round magazine bolt action very smooth 16.3 inch barrel harris bipod vortex diamondback three to nine by 40 millimeter nice trigger can be tuned uh, safety up here you know just an excellent all-around package now i remember shooting this just shy of 300 yards hitting my target five out of five times so it, you know people say that 350 legend doesn't have the distance needed well in most midwestern states you're looking at possibly 100 yards on the long end of things i was hitting 300 yards and hitting hard with the 350 legend so those are my choices i am exhausted but I sure had fun. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.